In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We may be seated. Well, folks, we have been waiting 40 days uh, about for this for this night. It is good to come to a uh, beginning of the Alleluia season. Now, it's uh, I've been given the honor of uh, of telling you not only telling you but uh, giving you the sermon by uh, it's a it's a it's a classic Easter sermon from Saint John Chrysostom who was a 5th century bishop, uh, and he was the bishop of Constantinople, and he was uh, noted as one of the great preachers uh, of his time. And this sermon was written around 400 AD, or CE, as it is now commonly known. One of, one of the things about uh, Bishop uh, Persostom is that he was part of the little people. He was for the common person, and his theology followed suit. His theology was very practical, very practical, and so he wrote this classic sermon that I'm going to give you this evening, and you might, you might uh, be aware that probably in many, many of the Episcopal churches and Anglican churches around the world, this sermon is being preached tonight, so we are part of a holy crowd, so to speak. And, and let me just say also, uh, I, if I were to put a title to the sermon, it would be called, God is an equal opportunity God who accepts all. And he says the following, are there any who are devout lovers of God? Let them enjoy this beautiful bright festival Easter time. Are there any who are grateful followers of Jesus? Let them rejoice and enter into the joy of their Lord. And then he speaks to us, those of us who have fasted during Lent, he says, Are there any weary with fasting? Let them now receive their reward. And then John says something that should put all of us at ease who did not keep a Lenten discipline. He says, If any have toiled from the first hour, let them receive their due reward. If any have come after the third hour, let him with gratitude join in the feast. And he that arrived after the sixth hour, let him have no doubt, for he too shall sustain no loss. And if any delayed until the ninth hour, let him not hesitate, let him come too. And he who arrived only at the eleventh hour, let him not be afraid by reason of his delay. Thank goodness for this allowance that he gives us. And then he continues, For the Lord is gracious and receives the last, even as the first. He gives rest to him that comes at the eleventh hour, as well as to him that toiled from the first. He accepts the works performed, but he blesses the endeavor. The deed done he honors, but the intention he commends and praises. Let all enter into the joy of the Lord. First and last alike receive your reward. Rich and poor rejoice together. Sober and slothful celebrate the day. You have kept the fast and you have not rejoiced today for the table is richly laden. Let no one go away hungry. Partake all, all of the cup of faith Enjoy all the riches of his goodness. Let no one grieve at his poverty, for the universal kingdom has been revealed. Let no one mourn that he has fallen again and again, for forgiveness has risen from the grave. Let no one fear death, for the death of our Savior has set us free. He has destroyed by enduring it, he destroyed hell when he descended into it. Listen to that phrase. He has destroyed hell when he descended into it. He put it into an uproar even if, as it tasted of his flesh. So magnificent words that he writes. And then he says, Isaiah foretold this when he said, You, O hell, have been troubled by encountering him, 
God's anointed, when he descended below. Hell was in an uproar because it was done away with. It was in an uproar because it is mocked. It was in an uproar for it is destroyed. It is in an uproar for it is annihilated. It is in an uproar for it is now made captive. This is one of the great words of John Chrysostom that in essence puts hell in its place. And now he brings it home. This shows the preacher that he was. Hell took a body and discovered God. It took earth and encountered heaven. It took what it saw and was overcome by what it did not see. O death, where is thy sting? O hell, where is thy victory? Christ is risen and you, O death, are annihilated. Christ is risen and the evil ones are cast down. Christ is risen and the angels rejoice. Christ is risen and life is liberated. Christ is risen and the tomb is emptied of its dead. For Christ has risen from the dead. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter, everybody.